back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Michelle. In this video, I have five teacher outfits for you. This is during winter time, and so you'll see kind of like warmer pieces, layering, all that kind of stuff. And I will also say that my goal when I'm teaching and picking out my outfit for the day is to be as cozy as possible, but also still look professional. That's just like my go-to. And so these pieces are definitely that. And hopefully this helps you, gives you motivation, maybe to kind of mix up your outfits or just get excited to kind of get dressed and go to work that day. Um, I know during the pandemic, we need every little bit of help we can get. And personally, I like to dress cute. I like to go to work feeling put together. It just puts me in a good mood. And so I was happy to share what I wore this week with you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. And without further ado, let's get into the outfits. Welcome to day one of outfits. So today's outfit is a sweater that I put over top of a dress. This is perfect for if you have like a summer dress that you don't want to wear to work. Um, it's either too cold or like for teaching, it's just not appropriate. You can throw on a sweater over top and you can tuck it. I used to, with this outfit especially, I used to tie it and then I would like safety pin it up but fun fact, I saw this hack once and I think it's so cool. So you can just get a belt, put it underneath, and then I do have it tied here because I wanted the extra fabric away. Then you can just take that and tuck it. So this sweater I got from Target a while ago, but you could do this with any sweater that you have. I don't have these items anymore because I got them a long time ago, the sweater and the dress combo. Um, but this way you can look at it and kind of get inspiration for you know putting on a sweater over another dress that you may have it's perfect too if it's too cold you want to warm it up a little bit today i have on leggings also because it's winter here in pennsylvania so i have to be nice and warm now this necklace i can link below because i got this for christmas it says faith over fear my bracelets you guys will see in every single video that they will be the same so i will show you today what they are um i have two mantra band bracelets the one says bloomer you are planted and the other says you are my person then every day i wear two beaded bracelets also one says grateful and i got this from the little words project and the other one i actually made um my students and i are making a bunch of these and we're going to sell them my art entrepreneur class it's a class where they make arts and crafts and sell their work and so we made a bunch of these but i made this one so the one from little words project um says grateful and then the one that i made says faith and they're just little bead of bracelets like i said every single day that's what i have on this wrist and then the other wrist i usually wear a scrunchie and then just my apple watch you will definitely find a pattern in this outfit video where i like to be comfortable but also cute and that is like what i strive for um if i can wear leggings every day in some capacity i will do so this was outfit number one and i will see you guys tomorrow for outfit number two Welcome to day two of teacher outfits. Today I am wearing an Amazon dress and a cardigan and I will show you everything and I have a link for the Amazon dress so this way you can actually get it. I also have a link for my necklace. So let's get into my outfit today. All right, so the Amazon dress is the one that I got over the summer. It has these nice big pockets in the front. It is actually, I'll show you, short sleeve and it has these cute, ruffled sleeves i think that's so sweet it has buttons down the front of it and because it's winter i have a cardigan on brought you into my mirror because you can see it a little better but this is the full outfit it's again super cozy you know that's always a goal of mine is to have my outfit super cozy and i don't know i just think it's fun um i don't actually use the big pockets i just feel like something would probably rip if i did but it's still i don't know it's still fun to have a dress with pockets so I will link this below. Like I said, it is from Amazon. If you're not as tall as me, you might be able to get away with um, wearing it without leggings like in your own personal life. I only did it once when I was at the beach. I'm too tall to probably wear this without leggings normally. Um, but I've been really just wearing flats because I have had to wear like rain boots, snow boots to work and then change because it's so muddy out um, from the snow melting and like rain and stuff. It's just a mess. And so I wear my gross winter boots to work then change and these are just easy because i can pack them really easily and they're small so if you have to do that or you want to do that flats are the way to go and then for my hair today i just did a side messy one but i like twisted the one side um you could also twist the other side if you wanted to but 
I love having just a simple messy bun, but this is kind of a nice way to kind of like make it a little more fancy. If you twist it, you could braid it, something like that always looks really nice. My necklace today says, I think I actually had this on yesterday, but it says Faith Over Fear, and I will link it below. My bracelets are of course the same as yesterday, but today I added on this little um, black ring that I got from Anna Lucia. I will link that below as well. These nails I have are Kiss Impress Me nails. I love, love the Kiss nails. They're so easy. They just glue on or stick on depending on what you do. Um, but yeah, they're all I use, honestly. I don't get my nails done anymore or anything like that. I just think that, let me go to light. I just, I don't know, I just think that they look great. They don't damage my nails and I can just easily switch them out. So yeah, that's my outfit today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello everyone and welcome to a new day. Today I am showing you another teacher outfit and I am pretty darn cozy today. So this outfit is perfect if you are teaching virtually, which I am doing today, or maybe it is just like a dress down day. It just totally depends on your school, as I always say, but I am super cozy. And so let me set my tripod and I will show you the full outfit. All right, so today, I have on a t-shirt. I just got this t-shirt, so I will definitely link it below for you guys. But it is from one of my absolute, absolute favorite, favorite brands. It is called Wholesome Culture. They are such an amazing company. They give back to animals, and it's just such a good company. So definitely go check them out. I will put their link down below. This isn't sponsored, I wish. But um, I just really love their company. I got a ton of pieces from them for Christmas. And I will do a whole video, I think, on all the pieces that I got because I love them so much. It could literally be its own video because I got so many t-shirts and a couple sweatshirts and they're just really nice and good quality too. This one says you can't buy love but you can rescue it. You guys know I love animals so much um, and so it's perfect for me but then also my necklaces. I have this one from Anna Luisa and I can link that one below. That's still on their website. This I will try to find a link for. Tony got this for me for Christmas. Little Christian necklace. It's a mustard seed with a mountain on it. And then what I put over the t-shirt is a kimono, but it's like a thick kimono for fall and winter. So this is one of my like packs. Instead of just a cardigan, um, I will throw on a kimono. And these kimonos are actually not usually found in like the regular clothing section of stores. I've seen them at Walmart and at Target and they're always like usually with the purses and the hats and that kind of stuff but Target still has a bunch of these in their like purse and you know jewelry section um, I don't know about Walmart but then in the summer you can usually find some that are very thin too so it's just nice because it will cover up like if you're wearing a dress that has like I don't know a spaghetti straps or something like that or just you need a little extra coverage it's perfect um, but you don't have a heavy cardigan now this I wanted it to be a little heavy but it's just nice because it's like I don't know, a little something extra than a cardigan because it's just, it's flowy. It has these little fringes on the bottom, which I think are really nice. And I don't know, so it just, it makes it like feel like you have a big blanket on, but it looks put together. Do you know what I mean? Cozy, but looking put together. That's always the goal. I brought you in here with my mirror so you could see it a little better. Um, so yeah, I just have the t-shirt, some black leggings, and then these cute little boots that I actually got from Walmart. They were on clearance, so I will try to find them and link them, but I don't know if they'll still have them or not, but they're super comfortable too. And I know they have them in black and brown, at least they did at my Walmart, um, in the clearance section. So yes, that is, I can't back up anymore because the kiln is there, but... That is my outfit today. I'm super cozy. I'm super warm. Oh, and I also switched out my Apple Watch band. Um, my Apple Watch band is now, I'll just show you here, this leather strap. It's very beat up because, like you guys know, I'm an art teacher, and so things get beat up <laughs> that I wear, especially on my hands and wrists and things like that. Um, but I will link this below. I need to order a new one that's just newer and fresher, but I did get this on Amazon, this wrap little band. I also switched out my nails these ones actually have been holding up probably the best they were ones that just came with glue um they were the like naturals french but they were very long so what i did was i actually trimmed them myself and then i um 
you know, rounded them into an oval shape. My camera will focus. I'm getting a new camera, by the way. I'm so excited because I'm so sick of this camera not focusing. There we go. So I think they turn out really nice, but yeah, I did have to trim and I did have to like round them myself. Hey everyone, so it is day four. It's the end of the day. I should probably start doing these videos at the beginning of the day when I'm like fresh, you know, the start of my day, not flat curls and sweaty, but it is what it is because I don't get here early enough in the morning to film. And so here we are, but today's outfit is a sweater with a tunic underneath it because it is a cropped sweater. And this is another little hack. If you have a cropped sweater or really anything that isn't long enough to wear with leggings, you can throw on a tunic underneath it. You could even throw on like a little bit of a shorter dress just to give it a little fabric and I'll show you, but just to give it a little fabric underneath the sweater, that way you're covered. It adds like layers. I like having a bunch of different layers going on in the winter and the fall it makes it interesting i was telling my husband this morning filming this video is tough because i really actually don't like winter fashion that much i'm just more of a summer dress kind of girl throw on a dress throw on sandals and a cardigan and go like i love spring and summer fashion but i'm doing it for you guys so <laughs> this is my outfit today let me actually put the camera down a little bit have on a crop sweater from American Eagle. I did not get this that long ago, so I will link it if I can still find it on their website. Um, this necklace, which is backwards, let me fix that. This necklace is that one from Ana Luisa that I showed you already. Same bracelets, same watch band, nothing changed there. So what I did was I put on this, like, it's not even a tunic, it's just a longer shirt, and I put it on underneath, and it just sticks out just a little bit to kind of give it you know a little a little something extra and that way it covers longer so i can wear leggings underneath then i have on these um maroon colored leggings and some booties i will take you to my long mirror so you can see better because filming like this way your outfit never really works out well but the lighting in this kiln room is the worst <laughs> but at least you can see my outfit better all right here we are so here's the sweater, the little shirt kind of peeking out, my maroon purplish leggings, and then these are the booties, and I got these from Target. This is the actual zipper. This is a fake zipper. <laughs> I don't know why. They're not as comfortable as a pair from Target that I had a couple years ago um, that got destroyed by my dog, but I bought these to replace that pair. Not as comfortable as those ones. They look almost identical, but... For some reason, these aren't quite there, but they're still pretty good. Like, I'm on my feet all day, and they're sore at the very end of the day, but not during the day. So there you go. That's my outfit today. And we have one more day. One, one more outfit. I have no idea what I'm wearing tomorrow, but I will see you then for one last teacher outfit of the week. I am so so excited that it's Friday and it is the last teacher outfit of the week. I am so excited that it's Friday. It's a three day weekend. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. For my outfit today, I paired a t-shirt over a skirt so I could show you that kind of combo too. And in the summer, I would not wear a cardigan, but since it is winter, I have a cardigan on. So I will show you the whole thing. Now for jewelry, I did switch it up today. So this is not new. But this one that's a little smaller is a Mother Mary necklace and I got that from Anna Luisa too. Um, but I like that it's, you know, layered and I really want to get an extension for my necklaces to make more combinations of layered necklaces because I just love that look. Um, I have that black ring on that I had, I think, earlier this week. I have my same wrap. I did add a different scrunchie to my wrist as a accessory today. I did not put it in my hair. My hair is just in a messy bun. It's nothing fancy, but I did um, wear my little scrunchie. I don't think I talked about my earrings, but these are the same earrings I've been wearing all week. I do not take them out. I shower in them, everything. I'm not really a big earring person. Like, 
at all. I will wear the same earrings like day after day. And I do have a second hoop, or a second hoop, I do have a second hole, but for whatever reason, my second hole always gets irritated. So I only have one in, and then I used to have an earring in the side here, but I need to get a new one, because it fell out and I haven't replaced it yet. Hopefully it didn't close. Um, and then I have one, just like little, I don't know if you can see it even, but it's a little stud that I always have in that ear. So the t-shirt that was, I told you that I put over my skirt, this one is from Wholesome Culture. Wholesome Culture, like I said before, I think is amazing. Um, this one says protect the wild side and it has a little bear and mountains. It's very me. If you're not new to my channel, if you've been following me for a while, you know I love nature and animals and so it's perfect. And I did the same hack I did before. I have a little belt find it a little belt right here and I just tucked it up in there as always I will bring you in to my kiln room um, closet to show you the whole thing in a little better mirror so here's the t-shirt like I said I just tucked it in layered necklace a long burnt orange cardigan and then this polka dot green skirt I got from Amazon and it does have pockets look at that so I'm wearing the same booties that I did yesterday. But yeah, that is my outfit today for Friday. Yay, it's Friday. I'm so excited. I just walked outside and realized I forgot my coat. So I will also show that as part of my, part of, of my outfit. The biggest way to remember that you forgot your coat is to go outside in the freezing cold. This is my coat that I got from the Gap. I almost said Old Navy, but it is indeed The Gap, and um, I love it. It's a like camel colored looking felt coat, It's or wool coat. It's so cozy. It's not crazy warm. I would not wear this um, if I was going to be outside for a long period of time. I have another coat for that, but it is a really, really nice, and it is long. It has these nice buttons, and it's just really cozy and cute and I love it. So yeah, I figured why not show you my coat too? That's part of my outfit and this is the winner. I will link it below. Hopefully I can find it. I think so. Like I bought it this season so hopefully, fingers crossed, that I can find it for you. All right everyone, that wraps up the last outfit. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are not already subscribed, be sure to do that. You can also click the push notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. I've been trying to upload two videos a week and I've been actually really enjoying it. Just giving you guys more content. It's been a lot of fun. So definitely subscribe and be sure to find the beauty in each and every day and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.